Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you, show you some uh, new features of the Examiner version 9. The first is a uh, new OCR text reader, a plain text reader. And um, I will show you the new features of the DMC classificator. And then uh, how you compare the content of the DMC with the content of the OCR classificator. Here in this uh, uh, case, I'm now checking 132 good pictures. And he made one mistake, but this is not a mistake. He needs now 17 seconds and he's ready. <clears throat> so we're waiting. Okay, this is a result list. Here you can see in the top one mistake, but this is not a mistake. Um, in this case, the text is damaged with a white wrecked angel. So it's not possible to read this text. <coughs> I'm loading uh, the reference picture back, the master picture. Check again. And here you can see um, the result of the text inside here. And this is a result of the text of the DMC. In the program, the first here, the first characteristic is a DMC reader. Then comes the OCR text reader. This is a, a complete new feature in the version 9. Then comes two compare classificators. These two classificators um, comparing the uh, OCR text content and the DMC text content. Um, I'm using here two only for demonstration. Normally you need only one. The first is a basic um, script classificator. I will show you how this works. Um, here you can see the script. It's very small. First, I'm creating two string variables, A and B, in the first line. Then um, I get the uh, content of the OCR text variable to the A variable. And I get the content of the DMC text variable to the variable B. Here I'm uh, clear the screen, then I am uh, print um, A and B to the protocol. The next line is interesting. Here uh, I remove the first char from the A content. Um, why? I show you this letter later. The script result is uh, pos A.B greater zero. This means the variab var variable A must be inside B then the result is OK. And here I removed the first char from the A variable. I show you now why. Because this A is not a uh, content of the DMC. If I start the program again, you can see here um, only 6, 4, then 20, 30, 80, and here 6, 4, 20, 30, 80. Here's an A, here's not an A. So this is the reason why I removed in the basic script A. <clears throat> okay, I will show you now how you create an OCR classificator, plain text reader, a new one. Um, so I will delete the current program before I make a snapshot, create a undo snapshot, a protected, okay. I call it before tutorial. Okay, good. Now I can delete all features, all, all characteristics in my program. Delete all objects and classificators, yes. Now the program is empty. If I start it, then only the reference is working. Only reference. Okay, so I can now beginning by zero with my classificators. Here's interesting, you see the yellow circle here. And this is a feature to um, referencing the crown very exactly. This feature is here by piston reference position. It's uh, the transformation, a hook transformation feature. This is um, a very good referencing um, for the crown. Maybe you can try it by your next project, but it's not necessary. You can also use the old um, crown localizer if you, if you want. Okay, 
So I begin now with my uh, OCR plain text reader, classificators, OCR reader. Then comes up this window in the foreground. And please click here to new classifier. Give him a name. In this case, I give him part number. Part number. Okay. Then um, here you can see now the step one, what you what you must do. Draw with the mouse a rect angel around the text. Then click to step two. Here is step two. Please draw the rect angel only for one text row, not for two or three or, or more. So I give you now a rect angel here around the first text. And this is good because only the, this row is completely inside the rect angel. And here I have a little bit from the other row, but this uh, is no matter, no problem. Okay, you have here the possibility to adjust it um, a little bit um, better. So you have, uh, this is um, important. This is, uh, for example, this is not a good rect angel. So this is very good. Now I'm going to step two. Click to the button 90 degree, this button, until the text is from the left to the right normal. In this case, <clears throat> I need only one time to click. Okay. Now I'm going to step three. Please adjust the threshold value for the letter separation. The norm value is uh, 127 and the range is from 0 to 255. 0 is black, 255 is white and the middle is 127. So this is a default, default value. You can make changes here, but in the most cases uh, it's not uh, necessary. If you make changes here, then uh, the threshold is uh, changing and your result is changing. I'll show you a little bit example, look. So um, let us come smaller, going maybe more down to maybe 100. Look, now we have mistakes inside the picture. The separation is not good. So I'm going to reset 127, this uh, is uh, normally very good. The so next is um, the text at the piston or by the piston is white and the background is dark, but we need a black text. So we invert the text and test separating. Now you can see here, the, um, the chars are separated. Interesting here is, uh, you can see the one is uh, smaller than the seven by the width. The reason is, this is not an OCR font. It's a normal um, Windows font, what you are using by marking. The better way is normally you're using um, extra OCR fonts, OCR. OCR fonts are, by OCR fonts, every letter has the same width and the same distance from the last one, from the last letter. <coughs> okay, step three is ready. I'm going to step four. And by step four, you're using the font engine, OCR engine. In this case, Tahoma is, um, is using. I will show you um, the net font. The net font is an OCR font. You can see here's a characteristic of the letter one. Um, by OCR fonts, every letter have a spatial characteristic. So it's very easy for every um, um, vision system to read this uh, kind of font. Here another example. Looks six, seven, it's eight. Looks very um, interesting. And um, interesting is here the, the E have the same width as the H or the G or the K. By the uh, Tahoma font here, um, the problem is every letter have another width, and uh, and the, the small. Um, sorry, the, yeah, yes, a small L and the big E is the same sign. This is uh, makes sometimes trouble for read, um, not OCR fonts. Okay. <clears throat> also, it's possible um, you create a new font engine. Maybe you're using uh, a Trump laser or any else, and you can 
export the font by this computer and import the font in this Windows computer. This is a Windows function um, to export and import fonts. If you have imported the font here, then you can choose them here. Sorry, here. You can choose a font what you're using by the laser. Click the OK and then create a new font OCR engine. By creating a new font OCR engine, he is using the text what you have here to learn. So this um, Tahoma font learning only 0 to 9, then he learns dot minus plus and he learns A till Z. For example, if you um, you're using maybe also the small o and the small p, in this case I give him two characters more and then you must click here to add charts to the current OCR engine. Then he learns this small o and p uh, also. Okay, so in this case we're using the Tahoma font because this is not an OCR font. I'm going to the next step. Here um, I beginning with the target text variable. I will I will have the result text in the OCR text variable. Here you can create a new variable if this is necessary, but in this case not. So this is, uh, is the time out of the classificator, 500 milliseconds. If we need longer, then he breaks and he comes back with a false result. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 characters. Here define the minimum characters to read and the maximum characters. So um, I go here to 11 and maximum also 11 because in this case by this piston we will all, always have 11 characters chars. It's also possible maybe here to give him 10 and here 12. This works also. But in this case we are variable from 10 to 12 characters. We don't need it now. Okay, the next is the search text masking. By the mask, just in time, it's only a star inside. The star is an asterisk and means the text is no matter. Can be any anything or any else of text what you want. But in this case, I won't have exactly this text. So I remove the star and give him A6, um, 4, 20, 30, 80, 17. This is my mask, what I won't have. Okay, I replace it. I replace now this asterisk. Accept. So next is my tolerance, 2 millimeters. This is okay. This means um, the distance who is uh, uh, the blue black angel searching by the crown, 2 millimeter plus minus. And the OCR font method I must switch off because we don't use the OCR font. This is what I tell you before. No OCR font. Now we can check uh, read on current position and you can see he is reading here A, here 6, 4 and so on. He make no mistakes. So the result is okay with my mask. Um, this, is on, this button reads only on the current position. This means the current position of this uh, blue red angel. If you start the reading here, this works also very good. Then he is using the 2 millimeter tolerance. Okay. Um, <coughs> sorry. You can see here a red angel around every char. And uh, in the bottom is a label with a grading or classification of this uh, char. All is okay. For example, you're beginning here by step 4, a new font. Um, a new font engine. Then it's possible by beginning he make mistakes. For example, then you have here a 7 and here in the label a 4. 4 means the grading is 4, then it's wrong, then please click to the 7 and uh, fix the problem here and go to OK and learn this. In this case I don't must learn. So you can click by every letter and can grade it or classification. OK, now we're here ready. I'm save this classificator again. Yes, close this window. I am um, go to the piston examine program, add a new characteristic. In this case, the name is OCR, um, part number, part number reader, add the object to the program, 
And the classificator, the extension of this classificator is OCR. Part number OCR, this is my classificator. I move this classificator to the first package, accept, start the program, and now the, the content of the variable is reading, uh, content of the text is reading, and you can see here uh, the result. It's okay. So next, what I need is a DMC classificator. I'm um, calling here the classificator window for, for the DMC and barcode classificators. Here are also some new features in the version 9 of Examiner. I'm creating a new classificator. I'm giving the name DMC Reader. Okay. This is also new. Um, new in version 9 is he want to um, have a small right angel, the smallest as possible. Till version 8, you must give him a little bit space, but uh, this is history here. Now we creating a rect angel very exactly around the DMC. This is okay. Take care that your DMC is completely inside. This is the only um, what you must look. Okay. So next is settings and configuration. Here we have the data matrix. This is okay. Um, invert is also okay because our DMC is uh, white and the background is darker. If your DMC is dark or black and the background is bright, then you don't must invert. Okay, the so next is a mirror. This you must test. I don't know. Or you, t or you take a look to the drawing. Maybe your DMC is mirrored. A new feature in the version 9 is you can define how many rows of dots and calls of dots the DMC must um, have. In this case, I have a DMC 18 by 18. Okay, so next is nominal number of chars. Zero is uh, no matter. This means, for example, your DMC have uh, 34 chars and must have 34 chars or, th or 40 chars. Then you can give him here um, how many chars must, um, must be the content of this DMC. I let it by zero. Zero means, firstly, no matter. Okay, um, then scan mode me using none, because this is very good to read. So the rec mode is a new mode in the version 9. And with the rec mode, um, you can read um, problem DMCs. If you're using the rec mode, you must here define a mask color. Rec mask, and you must define a mask color, yes but we don't use any uh, masking. And um, here is the data matrix grading, we switch also off. I don't want to grading this data matrix, except. The so next is, here's a search step is for interesting. Zero, zero is, um, is an automatic step. The final step is by one and one. It's a little bit slower, but if you have problems to read DMC, please try one, one. It's a good idea. Okay, so next is um, here, normally you use a masking for the DMC. So here is possible to give him a mask, text mask. The asterisk uh, star means text is no matter and in version 9 we can let the star inside. I will, I will show you later the reason why. Um, the target text var is DMC text, this is okay. Here you can create also a new var, but we don't need it. Um, I can save the classificator and test him, and he reads the DMC. Um, the next is, uh, or new in version 9, is the analyzing. Maybe you have problems to read in DMC, big problems, then you can create um, by analyze and test. Attention, you will start the read problem analyzing, yes. Here you can create um, self-adjusting classificators. The first is the fast analyzing, the next is the intensive analyzing, takes maybe 10 minutes, and the complete analyzing may be taking a half hour. If you use these features, then the program is checking and testing by himself the best method to reading the DMC by problems. Okay, cancel, we don't need it now. Test it again. All is okay. You can close this window now. 
and I put the, put the classificator to the program. In this case, I give him the name DMC reader. That object, uh, the extension is barcode by this classificator. Put him to the first package, accept, start the program. Now, the so OCR is reading, OCR plain text is reading, result is here. And the DMC is reading, the result in the protocol is here. Okay, the next step is I will compare that this text, not the A, but um, till the 6 is uh, inside the DMC content. The easiest way now for to do this is a new uh, text var verifier. It's also a new feature in version 9. This is here, the var verifier. I'm creating a new one. Give him the name OCR DMC checker, for example. Okay. Here you can see um, the OCR text variable in the content. And here you can see the DMC text variable and, this, and the content. What I forgot to show you, um, I will show you this. By system, if you go here to system, by user text bars, you can always see the current content of all variables. The DMC text too, I can normally delete, I don't need it in this program. I only use the DMC text variable and the OCR text variable. Okay. Um, so next is I go back to my classificator, var verifier, choose him, and look by the verifier mask is also the star inside, the asterisk star. This means if you compare it now, it's okay because the star means the text is no matter. I will check this text. This text must be in all two variables. So I give him here the first star, then the text, and a star again. Check the result is okay. For example, I give him here A in my mask. Now it's not working because the A is not in this variable. So the result here is false. What is also possible? Um, you can give him here in the first this char, so this is also okay. The, the um, star means the text is no matter, and the count or number of chars is no matter. This uh, sign means um, the char is no matter, but please only one, not two. So this is also working, I can close it. Um, go to my program. Adding a new object, DMC OCR, and call it compare. Add the object, and the classificator extension is CMP. This is a, a, a shortcut for compare in English. I move it to the first package, accept, and if I start now the program, the text will be um, compared. You can see it here in the protocol by the last um, entry. It works. So I make an auto test again, and you can see it works very well. It's reading the text. The first is no mistake. The first is um, my damaged, my damage. What I uh, show you by the beginning. Okay, I'm closing or stopping the auto test. Go back to my main main window. Because I will show you um, by the uh, RV management login, RV administration. Here is also um, a changing a new feature in the version uh, 9. In the first um, tab, you can now using a variable also. Until version 8, you must give him here a DMC classificator. But now you can use in your variables. This is, uh, makes a lot of uh, makes sense and makes makes a lot of easier all. Okay, thank you. That's all.